If we don't ask, we're not liable. This was something that was said to me a few years ago when I was in a consultation with a client around doing a survey. They didn't want to ask particular questions and it was surrounding bullying and harassment. And when I said to them, can you, can you explain to me why, why do you not want to ask this question? Their response was, well, if we don't know, then we're not liable. Now, this is quite scary for many points because even if you don't know, you're still liable. If it happens in your business, if you're a PCBU, you are liable. And the person that was saying this to me, she wasn't the one that was liable. It was her boss. So there's a couple of takeaways from this is one, yes, we ask difficult questions, but then we're put in a situation that if we know, we can start looking at how can we capture the people it's happened to and make it better and ensure that they're getting the support that they need and how we ironing the problems out and then looking at mitigating it moving forward, improving our processes around giving the people the support they need, encouraging them to speak up. But also as a leader, we employ people for their expertise to advise us. And when we're given the wrong information or they're doing things that could potentially put us at risk without us knowing, that's quite a dangerous place to be. So as a leader, what I encourage you to do is to speak to your experts and ask them if there are any judgment calls that need to be made where liability is in conversation, that I need to know about it and I need to make that decision to whether we ask these questions or not. So make sure that you're asking good questions. Make sure that your team understand as you as a leader and being liable, what your boundaries are, what do you want to know? Like, how are you mitigating risk if you don't even know that it's a problem? How do you know that you can mitigate risk if you don't know where the hazards are? So start looking at what that looks like within your organization. Have conversations with your experts that you hire to do the job that they are experts in so that you're better informed and that your people and your team further down and within senior management teams are looked after correctly. If you've got any questions, as always, put them in the comments or DM me. I'm more than happy to help. Until the next video, take care.